Hey everyone, geophysicist Stefan Burns here. Mount Etna, the giant stratovolcano located on the island of Sicily in Italy, has been erupting with explosive activity since December 27th, and this is still ongoing. It's not letting up. Now, we first started seeing signs of volcanic tremor going back to the 24th of December. Then we saw two sudden explosive events on the 27th. And well, there's no signs of this stopping anytime soon. And what's special about this is that this is coming from the northeast crater on Mount Etna, which has not seen activity since March of 1998. Now, we have had some other eruptive episodes at Mount Etna this year, specifically in February and in also August, with some intermittent bursts of shorter duration in between. But this is the third big sustained eruptive episode at Mount Etna. And if you look at the broader geologic context, we have a lot of volcanoes in and around Italy due to the plate tectonic regime here and the Campanian arc. So you have active subduction of the African plate underneath the Eurasian plate. And you'll notice that we have Mount Etna there on the island of Sicily, a wonderful place. I've been there way up there on the slopes, not all the way to the crater, but it's a climb for sure. The, 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 the strength and the power of the volcano really overwhelms you when you are there. Then we also have famously Mount Vesuvius there, located just outside of Naples, also another big stratovolcano with a long history of significant eruptions, think Pompeii. We have Campi Flagre. Campi Flagre has been very active since 2020. Actually, even going back to 2005 is when this new regime of activity started going up, but 2020 went exponential. 2025 has been the biggest year for earthquake activity at Campi Flagre. We'll talk about that more. I mention it because this entire area is getting more and more active showing that there are larger geologic changes that are unfolding at this moment in time. And a volcano that very few people know about is Marsili Volcano. Check this thing out. There's an active volcanic spreading center right there, ringed by volcanoes all around, Stromboli being one of the most famous. People think that's a big volcano. It is. Check out the larger structure there. And it sits right in between Campi Flagre, Vesuvius, Mount Etna, and there are some other volcanoes in this part of the Mediterranean in Sicily as well. So this entire area could be seeing larger changes unfolding at this moment in time related to the larger geologic setting. And so this activity at Mount Etna shouldn't really be a surprise if that is the case. And likely we're gonna be seeing more and more activity like this from Mount Etna, also from Campi Flagre, Vesuvius, Stromboli, all the volcanoes, We'll talk about all that and much more in today's video. And here we have our live view of Mount Etna via a webcam. You can't go back in time with this footage, but you can watch it in real time. I'll put a link to this in the video description for you to check out if you would like. So we see that this is still ongoing. We see it's the 29th of December, 20, about 2100 universal time. That clip that I showed you at the beginning was from about 12 hours earlier in the day. So this has not let up. And again, this started on the 27th. So it's been multiple days now. So this is a big eruptive episode. You see how far zoomed out we are right now. And these lava fountains shooting up are probably going up at least two, 300 meters, if not more. I think they were getting close to a thousand feet when they first started. So this is very significant. And hopefully this doesn't result in an escalation of events like big, big lava flows or even pyroclastic flows. We've seen those from Mount Etna before. Those are big enough. They can be very destructive and deadly. So hopefully this is just kind of intermittent activity for a few days and then things will cool down. But in general, the larger geologic setting, as I mentioned, is heating up, it seems. So let's check out our broader geologic context so we can understand what is happening. And here we have a basic geologic tectonic map of Italy and the surrounding Mediterranean showing the main plate boundaries and also the major volcanoes. Keep in mind, it does not show Marsili Volcano, which is one of the largest volcanoes in Europe. And the latest data suggests that it could erupt explosively at any time that has done so many times in the past, even be able to generate large tsunamis in the process. And that volcano was just recently discovered because, well, it's underwater. So until we had bathymetry data, we really didn't know it was there. We saw the ring of volcanoes surrounding it, but 
It's not like Mount Etna just towering in the distance for everyone to see for thousands and thousands of years. So you see that the plate tectonics here are quite complicated because you have a lot of subduction in a very small area. So it's not just a simple subduction zone where it's going down like this and then you have your main plate, let's say the more continental plate, and then that stretches out for a while. You have a whole mismatch of plates subducting and grinding past each other in this part of the Mediterranean. So, and it, it cuts directly through the peninsula of Italy as well. So you get tons of earthquakes all across Italy. And as you see these volcanoes track and fall the peninsula, it has that shape because of the geologic setting. So that's not gonna change anytime soon, but what that means, if you kind of zoom out, is that this is effectively a portal to what's happening deeper down in the planet. Because if there's changes deeper with the mantle or the athenosphere, right, and that's coming up, that energy is coming up to the surface, well, it's gonna easily express itself in this part of the globe because of this unique geologic setting. And we've been seeing tons of volcanic activity in other parts of the globe recently, uh, more so than normal, not maybe anomalously, anomalously so, but definitely like, okay, there's a bit more activity than normal. And well, Italy is further confirming that with this ongoing activity at Etna, three big eruptive episodes now this year. Campi Flagre having the most earthquakes it has ever had in its recorded history. Uh, and there's also been ongoing activity with earthquakes at Vesuvius, and there's been intermittent eruptions at other places. So this area is definitely a key hotspot. We just had the big magma intrusion uh, and earthquake swarm February of 2025 with Santorini, the Santorini Colombo volcanic system. That's just nearby. That was also co corresponding in time with a big burst of seismic activity, uh, a seismic burst at Campi Flagre, right there also mid-February. And we also had Etna erupt in February. So all these systems are linked. There's some larger, deeper change, it seems occurring in our earth, probably the mantle athenosphere area that is pushing more energy and magma up from depth. And now we're seeing that express at Mount Etna, the end of December, 2025. And what 2026 will bring is a big unknown, but a very good question. And here we have our volcanic tremor data provided by INGV for Mount Etna. And this goes back to about the 21st of December. So you see on the 24th, all of a sudden, the amplitude of volcanic tremor leapt up into this red zone. You know that this is a logarithmic scale, so this is 1, 10, 100 millivolts, and already in yellow, it's showing that there's a bit more activity. Red is saying, hey, there's clearly something happening, and this preceded the big outburst of activity on the 27th up till now. You see that we've gone down back to kind of where it originally went up to, but we are still elevated. So we don't know how long this activity is going to last, whether it's just going to be a few days, whether it's going to be a few weeks, perhaps. We can look here at our radiated power from Mount Etna across time, and you'll see a couple interesting things. First off, if this is where we are right now, we actually reached very high on the radiated power. This is also a logarithmic scale there, and uh, it's pretty rare for a volcano to reach that very high level. For example, Kilauea Volcano, Big Island, Hawaii, it's been reaching very high and extreme levels now in 2025 for quite a few of its eruptive episodes, of which there have been 39 since December 23rd of 2024. But this is a big eruption, as you can see, and the first big one that we've had since August and then also since February. And you notice that these are about two and a half to three weeks long. So each uh, gray line there vertically is a month. And we see that this is about two and a half, three weeks and reaching up into a very high level, but mostly staying in that high zone. And if you go back to February, we had this big burst of activity, then these intermittent pulses up. That was a really strong one, but very brief. And then you see that uh, we had the second wave with August. Things really cooled off. Now we're ramping back up again. So this is quite significant, especially when you add this to the other data that we have available for some of the other volcanoes in Italy, like Campi Fagre. Here we see the earthquakes at Campi Fagre across time. This is the Flagrain Fields near Pozzuoli, right outside of Naples. 
and this is considered a supervolcano by Italian volcanologists. So I'm going to defer to them. The, the guys who are working there, boots on the ground, studying this thing, they call it Italy's supervolcano. Well, here we see our earthquake statistics. And you could say that there's going to be good earthquake uh, coverage for this area going back to the turn of the century uh, and the turn of the millennium there with 2000. We see this increase there, the seismic burst in 1984. Uh, but you're not going to say that these earthquakes going up dramatically is because we have new seismic coverage. Going back to the 80s, we've had good seismic coverage of these zones. So that's not really too much of concern now, whereas if you look at really long earthquake data trends, there's, there's this apparent increase in earthquakes because we just have more seismometers. Well, we see here in the year 2020, look how things suddenly went up. Dramatic increase in earthquakes. So this is measuring three different brackets. We have uh, magnitude four plus earthquakes. That's that bottom line. We've had, I believe, five this year, uh, according to Volcano Discovery. So quite a lot. We see our magnitude three plus quakes getting close to about 30, maybe a little bit more than 30. And then our magnitude two plus quakes up to 200 now in 2025. So the trend has been continuing, especially at the lower magnitude earthquakes at Campi Fagre, where the activity is going exponential. And well, some of the uh, people, just in general commentators and some of the volcanologists say there's nothing to worry about but this is quite a bit more significant than the seismic burst that we saw in 1984 and some of the other episodes going further back. And well, every single earthquake is basically a fracturing event. So you have a large magma chamber close to the surface and you have these earthquakes happening all along that shallow column connecting the magma reservoir to the surface. You also know that that reservoir is quite fractured and well, we're creating more and more of these. It just needs a big enough push to just break it apart for there to be a significant eruption there. The last time that was 1538 AD, like way back in time. Here we see our earthquakes across the past year and we see their depth. So you see that they're basically all clustered in the top five kilometers, right? We, I mean, we have like a couple earthquakes there, uh, magnitude two to three that are deeper, but all of them are very close to the surface. We see the seismic burst that occurred in February. We see a few others that have occurred, but just in general, we've been having nonstop activity at Campi Fagre with these lower magnitude quakes with some stronger ones also occurring every now and then. So that is an area to watch for sure. Big zone of activity. And I just really have to keep going back to Marsili volcano here because no one talks about it. It's underneath the surface. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind, but it is by far the biggest volcano. It's not just this volcano here, which people think it's just this guy. And that's 35 kilometers across. It is this entire system. I mean, you just look at it, it's actually 80 kilometers across in radius or so. Uh, I mean, this is just a gigantic, gigantic volcanic system. That's 140 kilometers across if you measure it across this axis. And you can clearly see that uh, Stromboli and some of these other volcanoes are just a part of that. They are the rim of that larger system. This is the caldera, and then there's a central upwelling there. So we really don't know the geologic past of that too well because it requires extensive studies of the sea floor being an under, underwater volcano. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that there's been massive, massive eruptions from Marsili volcano. We call Campi Fagre a super volcano. You see all the different calderas and structures here, for example, and it is. Uh, we've had, you know, tremendous eruptions from Vesuvius and also from Mount Etna in the past. Some of these other volcanoes in the Mediterranean, like Santorini, have given us huge eruptions. The Minoan eruption, 1600 BC approximately, was gigantic, sent a tsunami shockwave across uh, the Mediterranean. But this is the real monster lurking underneath. And the fact that we're seeing increased activity at Etna, also can't be for gray and on and off of some of these other volcanoes, I think is really the sign that there are some deeper pushes of energy coming up. 
We are right now at the end of solar maximum, the beginning of the descending phase. Solar cycle 25 has been stronger than 24, each solar cycle being about 12 years in length. So we haven't had this much input of solar energy going back to the year 2000 with solar cycle 23 in that descending phase. Um, and all that just pushes energy into the earth. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but definitely things are heating up very rapidly at uh, Mount Etna and all these other volcanoes, and I will keep you up to date on all of that. So if you like the video, then please smash that like button, help the channel grow, subscribe to stay up to date on what is happening with the Earth energetically, earthquakes, volcanoes, geomagnetic storms, severe weather. We also look at the sun, solar activity, space weather, those sort of impacts, planetary alignments, planetary resonances, interstellar and cosmic forces. I cover all that and much more. You'll learn a lot if you subscribe to the channel, watch my videos daily, so I recommend you do so. I hope to see you around, wishing each and every single one of you well. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video.